Dr. Epstein with a patient who's two months out from a rhinoplasty, a rather complex one, you'll see why. Um, pretty woman, but she was concerned about this, particularly the boxy nature of her tip. You can see on front of you it was rather squared and undefined. In addition, she was fairly sunken in on what's called the lateral ailer regions. Uh, so she was basically had a very flat look there. Profile really was not bad at all, but we did a little bit of refining. You can see what we did, and here she is today with a smile. Um, you can see that the tip has become a lot less boxy. We have more of a, cur a gentle curvature as opposed to this being as wide as it is on bottom view. You, can, you really can't find the incisions at all. And you see that was the before and this was, this is the before and this is the after. So it's a much more refined, pointy look. And then on profile, which really didn't, we ch didn't change much, just made the tip just a bit less defined. And when she smiles, it stays up in place. So what did I do to achieve this? First of all, I used a septal extension graft cartilage from inside the nose, secured the tip cartilages. Once the chiamella cartilages were secured to the septal extension graft, I was able to refine this area to bring in the cephalic or the upper edges of the tip cartilages. Then I had to build this up because it was so narrow, so I put some cartilage in there, uh, like so what we call battens, to provide a little bit of fullness there. Reset the bridge and then did some profile work, giving her a nicely defined tip. So once again, you can see, She's got a, it's a nicely curved, instead of it being boxy here, it's more refined, and it's, it was brought in a bit here as well. Two months post-op, um, after a round of classes, Dr. Epstein, thank you.